I'm Sandy Ox. I'm the director of the Carroll County Arts Council. We are a multi-purpose cultural arts center here at the Carroll Arts Center. We do over a hundred uh, shows in our theater each year and that's a combination of movies, um, live arts for kids, concerts, recitals, lectures. Um, so about every three or four nights something's happening in our theater. We do 12 art exhibits every year. Uh, we have classes, we have summer arts camp, um, we have some really great special events. One is our annual Festival of Wreaths and one is our annual Peep Show. Um, so variety is definitely what we've been striving for to make sure we're offering something that appeals to all kinds of different Carroll Countyans. Um, we actually give $1,000 to every high school to award to their outstanding art student. Um, I hope that shows we, we truly believe in nurturing arts for the future. My name is Susan Williamson. I'm the Visual Arts Coordinator of the Carroll County Arts Council, and this is my 11th year being the Visual Arts Coordinator. We began years ago. I began years, way years ago, um, with people with a vision, and they were in several other places, the Davis Library being one, and then across the other side of the railroad tracks at 15 East Main Street in the basement, in a space that was half the size of this gallery. And then 12 years ago, with the vision of some local people who were really interested in having a fine art center here, we moved to this end of town. I go through the year and look at themes and figure out eight exhibits um, and, and then they all manage to come together and they all come together really well. We've added two years ago Paint Out Westminster which is a plein air event um, and that is held in conjunction with Flower and Jazz which is Mother's Day weekend and artists register and then they choose a place on Main Street from McDaniel College to Birdies and they paint or use pastel or draw or watercolor outside so people can watch people paint. And it's, I don't know, art forms, painting, printmaking, drawing, they're kind of magical. So it's fun to have the public watch people create a work of art. Um, the process of setting up the galleries is first of all, Generally, we base it on theme. This gallery is generally thematic. Um, I keep a file of artists, and as I said, our members go out to other places and say, oh, I saw this artist, it would be great to have their work in the exhibit. So I keep a file folder of that. And then the artists will bring their work. I never go to studios. A, I don't have time to go to studios, but I believe, like Mary Cassatt, that artists can be their best critic, and artists can if they're invited to bring five to seven of their best works, they will. And if they don't, according to my opinion, they're representing themselves. It's not a representation of me going to their gallery and selecting art. And I've never been disappointed. I have to admit, however, several times I sat in the middle of the floor and cried. And I asked myself, what the heck have I done? Because nothing seems to come together. And then all of a sudden, that last artist will bring their work. It's like, oh, there it is, and the entire show comes together. So for me, putting together an exhibit is very much like making a composition with everyone else's work. So I don't have to worry about composing on canvas myself. To create my own work of art, I compose on the walls. I remember when I first took this job, Sandy said, we really look forward to having you fill the canvases of the Art Center. So I look at every single exhibit as a work of art in its entirety and the way they come together. So the exhibits have been really exciting, really solid. Um, my goal before I retire is that we get approximately 16,000 people coming through here to see the peep show. I want 16,000 people to come in and see an art exhibit and then they can scrape me off the tile and send me on to my retirement. So that's kind of my goal. The Carroll County Arts Council's mission is to enrich our community both culturally and economically by presenting, promoting, and supporting a wide variety of arts opportunities for our residents, visitors, and artists.